go. Hi and welcome to Arab Betrayal Talk episode 30. I'm Jam. I'm Jobs. Welcome Here back. Here we go. Oh yeah. This is going to be a shorter episode. A lot going on this week, and you're not feeling 100%. Oh, yeah. Maybe 10%. Well, no, I've just, I've been fighting uh, some, like, bug issue, whatever, for the past few weeks. Yeah, not yeah, good. Not great. So, once again, we've got some people tuning in live on Instagram and Facebook. Feel free to ask questions for us. Comment below. And we want to start out and talk about... The ultra that happened this weekend. We did not have a race this weekend. The no. only weekend this month that so we did rare. not. But the Lake Sonoma 50 mile happened over in California. Mm-hmm. It was the final race in the Ultra Golden Ticket Series, which is, of course, as I think most of you know, provides two spots for men, two spots for women at each race. Entries into the Western States 100s. You can literally race your way in to then race again. <laughs> and you went this weekend. But you still have to pay your yeah. entry. But that's cool. Yeah, I went up there this weekend, decided a few weeks ago that this would be a good idea. We wanted to film the race. Mm-hmm. So we've had a little bit of success with a couple of videos that we did uh, that got pretty popular. The Chasing Walmsley and also the Miller versus Hawks yeah, videos. Cool. So that was last fall on our Run Steep Get High YouTube channel. And... Those were like random things that just kind of happened. We didn't plan them out really. It was very sudden, just kind of, yeah. they just happened and yeah. happened to be there with the camera and caught it on film and put it out there, uh, which is pretty cool. But this one was actually, had a little bit more planning to it. Okay. So it was a different approach. And I think, I hope the quality is better. I don't fully know. Um, currently as we speak, my computer is just off screen and it's literally exporting the film it's 31 minutes long and it has a lot of like action running footage yeah so hopefully people dig it and that's going to be uploaded today like people can as long i possibly I, hopefully yeah uh, i mean by the time people see this on the recording it will be up but the live people nice. we're not sure entirely yet yeah hopefully i have time we have group run tonight too so i've got a i want i need to watch yeah. it all the way through i don't know if i'll have 31 minutes to watch it cuz it's still <laughs> It's like maxing out my computer's uh, everything right now. Nice. It's taking like two hours to export. Anyways, enough of that technical talk. Um, so yeah, Michael and I traveled up to yeah. uh, Santa Rosa. We flew in there and then the race is, it's actually at Lake Sonoma. The closest town is called Healdsburg and there's a cool store there, Healdsburg Running Company. So we'll give a shout out to them. They're actually playing some of our Mountain Outpost videos nice. on screen, which is pretty cool to see that. That was awesome. Uh, the race organizers, uh, John Medinger and Lisa Henson, they used to own Ultra Running Magazine a few years back. He's on the Western States board. We call him Tropical John because he's always wearing <laughs> Hawaiian shirts. But yeah, they put on a great race. It's very kind of old school feeling, but very focused on the runners. And it have was you, a good time. Beautiful area. Have you run that before? No, I've never been there before. Yeah. So it was cool. it was great. Um, there was a stellar women's field. I mean, it was like 10, 12 deep of amazing women. The, the guys' field was uh, equally as impressive, maybe not quite as deep, but there was a nice pack of five guys on the outbound section that were staying real tight together. Uh, but on the way back, it was kind of, you know, just people running alone, basically. Yeah. Sage Canada ended up winning, which was really cool, cool. to see that. I know he's had a couple less than ideal race performances as of late, so it was cool to see him come away with the win. Um, trying to see what else. I don't have a lot on this show. <laughs> that was exciting, though. You got to go and It was fun, and... yeah. It, it's still it's a lot of work. I mean, I myself put in over 18 miles of running that day. So did Mike Carson, mm-hmm. and then Skylar, I think, did over 20 miles just And Skylar was running. helping film? or Skylar like... was helping film, and we also filmed some stuff for Mountain Outpost. Uh, YouTube channel as well so yeah it was a good time but then it's like coming back and dealing with all this video footage is it's a lot of stuff so it's good though it's fun to have new content and new uh, new perspective so very cool yeah awesome 
Um, let's see, coming up for Air Vipa the rest of this month, we've got two more events. This yep. weekend is our damn good run, and it's going to be hot. It will it's be hot. It's supposed to be mid-90s. it is, like, right there at Lake Pleasant. And our finish line is pretty unique because it's right off of um, Tin Lane Boat Ramp. And you finish going off the boat ramp, and you have an option of diving into the lake. If you, you can want pretty to. much finish in, into, into, the, into lake. the lake, into which the lake. is amazing. Which is awesome. And so I was hoping for kind of a hot day because I want people to get in the water. Yeah. Last year, oh, I definitely there was only a couple. It wasn't super hot out. Yeah. But this year, it's going to be hot. Yeah. So bring out your floaties and your rafts and your boats and your jet skis and all that. I'll be out good there stuff. floating around. Um, then the following weekend is our first night race in yep. our night series. And there's some really cool stuff this year with the night series. We've revamped it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, really, Noah has really taken a hold of it. Yeah, um, Noah is doing some cool stuff with it. The, the finishers, oh, we should have had it on film, but the finishers. We'll do it. Yeah. Uh, item is awesome. Like it's something, award, something unique. Different. I've never seen yep. it given away at a race. Yep. Uh, there's also the new series passes where mm -hmm. you can sign up for short, medium, or long distance, or an, like an evolution pass where you can do short and kind of build your way up to an ultra by the end of the summer. Yep. That one's super popular. We've got uh, quite a few people sign up for the passes this year. And if you run at least five races in the series, you do get an additional like wooden designed metal according yeah. to your pass, which we just saw the designs for, just posted it to the Facebook page, and it's, it's, so cool. it's pretty awesome. So check that out. Um, I guess one more shout out for the group run. Every week yeah. we've got that going on tonight. Mm -hmm. If you're tuning in, join us at, at South Mountain. We're over at the Mormon Trailhead tonight, so yep. there'll probably be a lot of climbing, which is good for me. I need that right now. And then we're heading over to the Deuce, where the Deuce. Jubilee will hopefully be Doing some karaoke. That's crazy. Because you know I won't. Oh, you should, though. <laughs> it's a blasty blast. They have, like, karaoke every Wednesday at the Deuce, and it's it's hilarity. It's a lot of fun. I'll be singing. Give me a mic. Whatever. Let's do it. So the format of the show, we're going to go into our Jube Tube, yeah. which is our We've weekly got... video challenge. And then we're going to move into Q&A. So those of you tuning in again, feel free to type in your questions. Uh, they can have to do with, they can happen to do with anything you want, um, but if you have some yeah. specific ones about this week's topic, you know the Lake Sonoma 50. If you were tuning in live to I Run Fars updates, or I don't know if you have questions about filming at races, let me know. Yeah, it's getting a little crazy out there. I'd have to say, like it, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. Like a lot of people are inspired to film. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot more people I think out there trying to get coverage. I Is saw it? like tons of drones flying around everywhere, and I saw. Like other people out on course running around, um, and it just—I don't know if that's like a trend that's going to continue. But I can imagine a period of time when there's like constant people running with the runners, and I'm, it makes me feel a little uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, I think it's cool to have a couple people out there getting some perspective. But I can see at some point, you know, like needing to crack down on that stuff a little bit. Um, what about for bigger races? I think that's even more important. Yeah, um, just because more and more need to... You can just kind of imagine, like, the yeah, media zoo at... It can just... Even, like, Bar States Barkley or and stuff. Rock, yeah. it, it gets a little intense sometimes. I think it's super important to have, you know, some people covering it because that shares it with the rest of us. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, everyone trying to get little clips is, like, a little little nuts. So, I don't know. I, I'm still trying to process answers. it all. But, yeah, yeah. it was kind of weird because I, I rolled up to mile two to get a couple clips. Um, and there was, like, already two guys parked there with... Uh, with drones like taking off and I was like holy crap this is kind of crazy and then I of course flew my drone yeah. up, so there was like three drones in the air at one time That's at mile two yeah so <laughs> little little crazy a little crazy uh, cool you wanna play a game? yeah let's do it okay let's play Jube Tube so this week we're gonna play five second summary uh, again issued by Enzo We've got a list or a, what, like a little pile of ultra runs. Um, we're going to choose one, and then if I have five seconds to describe said ultra run to you, you then have to guess cool. what that is, and then we'll go back and forth. I'm not good at this game. This is already, I already know this. Jibs! Okay, we're going to do it. You want to pick a card? Any card? Doesn't matter. Oh, gosh. Okay. I had five seconds. It was my first ultra marathon attempt. This year. Old Pueblo. Yes. Ish? Kind of. Okay. Okay. 
I filmed here this weekend. Lake Sonoma. Oh my gosh. Wait, is it, who gets the points? Oh, it's a team Oh, thing. it's a team we thing. We all win. <laughs> We're yeah. all winning. Okay. Um, you've run you? this a couple times. I don't actually know where this is. Nope. Angela's Crest. <laughs> Hurt 100. Oh, okay. It's in Hawaii. Oh. Hawaii Ultra Running Trail, Hawaii Ultra Running Team. Hurt. Ah. It's all good. All right, here's this one. Racing on a volcano in May. Transvolcania? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, June uh, used to be a horse race, now very popular. Western States? Yes. <laughs> okay. Kiss the... Uh, hard Rock. 100. Ha ha. Okay, ready? Um, Desert Race from Death Valley. Badwater. Yes. Ready? Yep. Five loops. 60 hours. Uh, Briars. Uh, <laughs> Barkley. <laughs> Ready? Uh, France. UTMB. Yep. Man, these are all the big ticket ones. All right. Our last era Viper race. Whiskey Basin. Yep. <laughs> That was fun. That was fun, Enzo. Okay. All right, let's get to some Q&A. All right, guys, we're going to do you a knew. quick Q&A. We have limited time today, but we will uh, definitely answer your questions for about the next few minutes, so feel free to ask them. If you're watching this later on, ask in the YouTube comments. Yeah. I didn't check last week, so if you commented last week, I currently don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's gonna be real like quick before we start, we want to show the you the, this is the new Insomniac Night Series um, Finishers Finishers Award. Award. So, Instagram, here's a close-up. It's got the new Sinister logo. It's new this year. I like a card. Oh, yeah, I have plenty of cards. <laughs> you have plenty of cards. So, yeah, check that out. Ooh, it's pretty cool. Citizen. So, you can put, like, I don't know, uh, tons of different yeah. products in here. Uh, coffee Which we might... to kombucha to I wanted olive it for oil I made a salad like, dressing the other day salad and I dressing. needed this for so, it. So pretty cool. So by the end of the series, you can have a whole set of these. Um, but yeah, again, all eight of our Insomniac Night series starting in April, you'll get whatever these things are called. They're just cool. I don't really know. Like, yeah, I don't know what they're called. So those but are they're awesome. adorable, and I should start making mead so I can. Mead? <laughs> I kind of, yeah. Yeah, you could probably put beer in there. I know. So let's get into the questions. Kim Espat, what software do you use to edit your videos? Uh, we use Adobe Premiere CC. It's great. Lots of options. Sabrina Morgan, your drone shots from the latest run steep of Sonoma filming were amaze balls. Thank you very much. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait for the full video. There's even more, and it's more amaze balls. Stunning. Saved Aria Snow. My truck is now covered in Run Steve Get High stickers. People in Indiana are curious. Awesome. Thanks nice. for spreading the love. <laughs> Keep the vids coming. You guys motivate me daily. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you, TD Clavigne. Also, where can I get Run Steep and Get High swag? Runsteep.com. Check it out. We've got a store. Yeah. And actually, just a quick plug these hats I've been wearing. This one, this has been a one off model. It's the Classics hat by Yupong. It's a really flat bill, uh, quality construction. I've worn this in a ton of races this year. Pretty much everything I've done, including Barkley, still survives. A little yeah. dirty. But uh, I've got uh, 200 of these hats coming in this week. Um, and once they're gone, they're gone. So stay tuned for that. Tata Basham got my evolution pass. Sweet, dude. Sweet. We will see you very soon. That's so cool. That's actually the yeah. one that interested me the most. If I were able to run in the night series, uh, which I wish I was able to. Yeah, I wish I was doing the, the evolution, evolution pass. So it's it like starts with the 9K at Sinister, and then it goes up to like 10K, 13K, all the way on up, and it's just, it's really cool. Turn I like the idea that you ultra. get a range of distances. Yeah. And normally people that do a lot of ultras, it's cool that you step down and get to run something shorter and faster. Any plans to come up to Canada? That's from also TD Clavig, what would you, how would you say that, Clavigne? Uh, no, I don't have any plans to go to Canada. Uh, unfortunately. Vancouver, British Columbia area sounds awesome, though. I wish I could go up there and hang out with Gary Robbins. Oh, 
that'd be awesome. John Day, John Dab, do you think it's bad for the sport? I'm assuming talking about the video stuff. Uh, I don't know that it's bad for the sport. Um, I'm just trying to be mindful of it because mm-hmm. I know that I'm part of the problem of or what could be faced viewed as a problem. Um, because like we were we were definitely following the athletes a ton this weekend at Lake Sonoma, probably more more running with athletes than anyone's done in an ultra before I'd imagine, other than maybe like a UTMB where they have people all over. So I don't know I don't know fully what like how the athletes feel about it or if yeah. they even care or like if it's it just seems like we're a fly on the wall. Um, but yeah, I want to be mindful of it definitely going forward. Do you think like race directors are going to limit? the amount of media passes maybe I think they should. going forward. I, I think that'll be the solution, right? Yeah. Um, and there's just other, yeah, Like rules. you submit a project and say, this is what I want to do, to get, this is how I'm going to film it. Yeah, and, and I think that's important. I think that getting the permission of the race director in order to film, that's, yeah. what, that's what we've done is, yeah. like, like, like Sonoma, we asked the race director, hey, can we come out? We want to cover the race and follow the leaders around. And, and they said, sure, yeah, you have free reign to do what you want out there. Um, that was awesome. Yeah. So, but then there's other ones, like, we're currently attempting to get permits to film at both Western States and Hard Rock. Yep. Uh, and those require, you know, extensive permitting the fees. Permits from the land management. And, from the land, yeah. different, not even through the race, but also the land agencies. Yep. So the National Forest and yep. BLM and things like that. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, interesting times. There we go. Yeah, someone just suggested maybe already should issue a media pass. Um, I think that's definitely a good solution. Jam Jam, will you be filming Western States? Yep, yep. We are working on a permit to do that, so yes. Kim Ispat, I'd like to see you do a challenge where you fuel your long run with Mio Energy. Okay, I've not had that before. What's Mio? Oh, the it's squirty a little, stuff? It's a the, squirt, the... I think it's a squirt bottle. Yeah. Mike Trail Chaser 83 hell yes, I'm live. Would you let a Beast Coaster take on the Whiskey Man Challenge over the course of three years? I ran Watson Lake when I came out to Crew BC 100K and fell in love. Hey, Mike, um, sure. Why not? Yeah. Like, if you, if you over the course of three years, do all three races, I will christen it. Because you're coming from the East Coast. You're coming a long way. I get it. You can't make the trip every year. So let's do it. That would be awesome. John Dav, have you ever considered having a virtual run for your channels? I have not thought of that before. Possibly we could um, maybe Let us know more it. of what you'd want to yeah. see. Do you guys do a virtual run? Let us know. Simon Edge TT. Hi from C- Connecticut. Do you think race directors should have discretion to dictate who can film on course? Um, yes, I yeah. do think you should. I do think they should have some discretion. Um, it's their race. Just like they control who runs the race and where crews are allowed to go and where pacers can start. They should also, I think, control the filming of their race as yeah. well. That makes sense to me. Um, checking in from Delaware. That's the state, not a city in a state. Okay. Hi, in Delaware. Wendy Jameson, have you ever thought about doing a 50-50 run like the Squamish? Putting on one for air vibe but not running it yourselves. Um, we haven't really thought about that, but I like the idea of it. Um, I guess we have a we have some day and night races that happen either on the same day or like yeah. the night before the day of. So we have three of those that happen over the course of the year. One's the Big Pine Blackout. Yep. This year the Blackout's right before Big Pine. We've also got the Cave Creek Thriller and Thrasher, same day, and the Cave Creek, mm, or Punisher. the Pass Mountain and Punisher, same day. So yep. you can, and this year we're having some new awards made up, uh, you call the Double Down. Yeah. So you can double down, get an additional award if you do either of the distances at either at any of those races, which is pretty cool. So I'm you can do an ultra that. like during you the day like the, and a uh, fun run at night. Do 50K in the morning and do like 5 or 10K at night and you, you earn this additional award. That's awesome. Um, and it just kind of gets you out running more and yeah. it's a fun challenge. Yeah. Or you could do, you know, 10K in the morning and 5K at night. Yeah. Easy as that as well. Um, Chuck Hall says, if you uh, would recommend one Arab Viper race, what would it be? What's yours? Whiskey Basin, probably. <laughs> That's probably high on my list, yeah. too. Mostly because it's still newer for me, you know? It's just such If you a asked me a couple years ago, out. I would yeah. probably say Black Canyon, but right now it's like Whiskey Basin. Yeah. I'm all about it. Because there's, a, yeah, there's an event for everybody, and being out in Prescott is pretty stellar. How um, Sheen, any updates on a Tucson race? Uh, not at the moment. Um, got a couple concepts kicking around. I think we've changed direction a little bit with where we want to go in Tucson. So I guess just stay tuned. Sorry, I don't have any more updates. Andre Bloomberg says, greetings from Hong Kong. Keep it up. Hey, Andre, how's it going? Good to hear from you, man. 
he was out there uh, when I went there in January. When are you heading over here for Hard Rock, Andre? Um, Tech Hall says, Headlamp Review was awesome. Please do more. More reviews, please. Thank you. Awesome. Enzo's in the room here. He did that edit. Very cool. I have yet to watch that. I need to watch that. It was fun. Uh, Michelle Mack, did you see Stephanie Howe's tweet about someone getting busted for doping? I did see that, and I actually am covering it in this week's Mountain Out House. Um, but just to touch on it, yeah, it was pretty, it was kind of a weird conversation because she, she, if you don't didn't see it, she essentially in a tweet said uh, that one of her role models was caught using EPO, but yet they have been advocating for clean sport. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a, what do you call that? Hypocritical? Yes, that's right. That's the word. Very hypocritical. But Stephanie didn't like say, refuse to say who this was that she was referring to, uh, saying that the information wasn't public, but yet that we could figure it out. So it was like, it was kind of a weird thread. And it was really just, it was really frustrating. Yeah. Because you're just like, it's like someone saying like, hey, I have a secret to tell, but it's a secret and I'm not telling, you know? And it was just, yeah. everyone was just kind of like, well, what was the point of that? You know, like, why did you say that to begin with? But yeah, I mean, that is one of, I guess, one of my concerns with the whole clean sport movement. Um, I think it's good that people are talking about it and creating awareness for it. Um, like, if you've seen, like, the little infinity tattoos, mm -hmm. people, athletes can pledge that they are clean sport. But it sounds like this role model of Stephanie's pledged clean sport but was busted for EPO use. And it's like, there's just no barrier to say who can pledge, you yeah. know? And, and like, you would be maybe advantageous to pledge if you, even if you are a doper because it makes you look good. But yeah, hypocritical, definitely. So uh -huh. I don't know, I, I would like, I wish that we could find out who she's talking about, but maybe someone will investigate and figure it, figure it I'm out. I'm sure it'll come out eventually. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's sad. It, it sucks when like even, you know, I know Boston was this was mm -hmm. two days ago, yeah. but you, you know you're like, well, I wonder if so, you know someone's doping that's on the podium, and seven years from now they'll get caught, and then retroactively there's a new winner. It just sucks, yeah. you know. It sucks that it, it really feels like the sport's going the way of cycling, you know, and just tarnishes what people are doing. So, blah. Blah. New Montana. Wait, is it outhouse officially now or outpost? Uh, well, there's there's Mountain Outpost, which is the main name of what the channel is. Mm -hmm. um, but the Mountain Outhouse news program is the weekly news show that we do here. Yep. So there's kind of, it's close, but a little bit slightly different. Borders saying, when's the full Sonoma video coming out? It's exporting right now. It might be done. I just heard my computer kind of wind down. So we'll see. Are you going to make it out to Broken Arrow this year? Kim Aspat. Interesting... You guys went last year. We went last we're year. We're actually sitting on footage from last year still. That no, would be... we're not. Oh, we're not anymore. Okay. <laughs> no, we Scratch lost that. that. Nope. Scratch that. We, uh, we don't have that. Okay, that confused me. I know, it is very confusing. And that's what we aim to do at Mountain Outpost. <laughs> we aim to confuse. We aim to confuse. And we are very good at it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Broke... Uh, I wish I could just go to like every cool race and film yeah. it, but Broken Arrow was amazing uh, last year. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, but incredible we, to go film. Yeah, we have a lot of other stuff going on. I can't just go out oh. of town every weekend and film, even though I wish I could. Yes, maybe someday. New Montana. Also, we're just talking to New Montana here. This is cool. So I'm hiking the CDT south from Montana and then going west. Any tips for hiking in Arizona? Um, interesting hiking and running. So are you doing the whole CDT all the way to the Mexico border and then you're continuing on foot from the border to like the Arizona Trail or what are you doing exactly? Uh, tips for hiking in Arizona? Depends what time of year you're going. Yep. If it's summer, bring a sh ton of water. Yep. Southern Arizona is interesting because there's a lot of these sky islands. So actually you can be hiking in the desert in the morning and the pine trees and the forest mm -hmm. in the afternoon. Um, to the border, then west. Um, cool, man. That sounds awesome. Yeah, those are my tips. If you're hiking specifically the Arizona Trail, I highly recommend checking out the Arizona Trail app for your phone. You can use it in airplane mode and download the whole route, and it shows exactly where you are, where the water sources, all that kind of stuff is. Very it's cool. amazing. 
As far as places to go, there's so many. It's a whole separate video. We'll talk about the Arizona any, Trail someday. Any more over there? Yeah. Um, Lori Sipa says, uh, Whiskey Basin was great. Thanks for putting on such a great race. Um, Andre says he'll be at Silverton uh, July 2nd onwards and looking forward to catching up. Very Sweet. Cool. I'll see you there. I'll be there in June. Uh, Wade Blomgren. Hey, Jamil. Not sure if you know about Slate's Hang Up um, and listen sports podcasts, but Stephen Fatsis, uh, one of the hosts, did a lengthy after ball their term for the end of the episode. Did a lengthy after ball their term for the end of the episode um, about the Barkley Marathons this week. Cool. I have not seen it yet, but I'll check it out. The Mountain Outpost video is up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I okay. didn't even know that. Um, Mountain Outpost video is up. This was a challenge that we did with Skylar this weekend at Lake Sonoma. It's pretty funny. Check it out. Um, but Mountain Outhouse, or the Outhouse News. I should just call it the Outhouse News instead of Mountain. Because I always confuse it, too. Mountain Outpost. Mountain Outpost, Mountain Outhouse. Mountain Outhouse. I do the same thing. Just be like the Outhouse Mountain News. Outhouse the Outhouse News. Um, I'm going to start referring to it as that. That will come out in a couple days. It's, I just filmed it right before this, so it's got to be edited. Awesome. Have you or would you do a review of hydration pa- hydration packs or watches? I'm, I probably will do that. We're actually looking for the next thing to review. Sweet. Um, I've got the Sunto watch. Yeah. I've got a Garmin I'll, I'll watch. I'll look into it. Thank you. Um, Marisa says, tell us about the new buff from Jube's artwork for Kendall Mountain. Um, if you guys are looking to come up to Silverton this week, or not this week, this year, um, we've got the 40th anniversary of Kendall Mountain uh, race, and with every entry, you get a brand new buff. Um, it's one of the photos that I took last year, um, and then we kind of... a head wrap. You oh, can't call it a buff. It's a head wrap. We did a head wrap. <laughs> and... Uh, we took a photo of mine and transposed it into like a watercolor and then like slapped it on a head wrap and uh, that comes in with every entry. entry. Yeah, this and year. it's also available so, additional. Right now it's available purchasing. online if you want to go and check it out online. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, and then Carrie Light says, love your night trails. Can't wait for these coming up. So sorry to miss Whiskey Basin, um, my old hometown. All right, that wraps it up for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.